James Webb Space Telescope just confirmed what online rumors hinted at for months. 3 i atlas isn't just an unusual comet. It's nuclear-powered. The leaked Webb Spectral Analysis shows 3 i atlas emitting gamma radiation signatures identical to controlled nuclear fusion, but at energy levels that would require containment technology beyond anything humanity has achieved. We're talking about a stable fusion reaction inside a kilometer-wide object traveling at 30 kilometers per second through vacuum. But here's what's making NASA panic. The nuclear signatures aren't random like natural decay. They're precisely modulated, showing clear evidence of artificial control systems managing fusion with impossible precision. Within hours of these findings reaching the astronomy community, NASA issued new safety protocols for web observations. The same instrument that peers into distant galaxies suddenly needed radiation protection when pointed at one object in our solar system. When the world's most advanced telescope detects controlled fusion in an interstellar visitor, then NASA immediately restricts the data you're witnessing humanity's first encounter with technology that makes our nuclear physics look primitive. Hit that subscribe button because what I'm about to reveal will change everything you thought you knew about what's possible in space. Natural fusion requires either immense gravitational pressure in stellar cores or precise magnetic containment we're still struggling to perfect. Think about ITER, the international fusion project that's consumed billions of dollars and decades of work just to maintain fusion for seconds at a time. 3i slash ATLAS exhibits neither condition. It's a small object with minimal gravity, traveling through near vacuum with no external power beyond distant starlight. Yet gamma ray analysis reveals active hydrogen to helium conversion at 100 million Kelvin, contained in a structure smaller than Manhattan. The magnetic fields required exceed Earth's planetary field by orders of magnitude. The energy needed would exceed every nuclear reactor on Earth combined, running continuously for decades. Either we're witnessing natural phenomena that rewrites physics or observing fusion technology centuries beyond our capabilities. Natural nuclear processes follow random statistical patterns. When we observe fusion in stellar cores, energy output varies chaotically as convection currents and magnetic fluctuations create turbulence. Even our most controlled lab experiments exhibit plasma instabilities that make precise control nearly impossible. 3 i slash ATLAS's core doesn't behave randomly. Energy output varies in precise mathematical sequences like a reactor fine-tuned by impossibly sophisticated AI. The gamma radiation pulses in complex harmonic progressions more advanced than anything our nuclear engineers have attempted. Even more disturbing, energy patterns correlate perfectly with trajectory adjustments. When the object alters course, nuclear output increases by exactly the amount needed to power those maneuvers. This requires real-time monitoring of nuclear processes at the individual atom level. Control systems that predict quantum reactions with accuracy exceeding theoretical limits imposed by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Controlled fusion requires perfect balance between fuel injection, magnetic containment, plasma temperature, and heat removal. Disturb any element slightly, and the reaction either extinguishes or becomes an uncontrolled explosion. Our fusion researchers struggle to maintain plasma stability in carefully controlled labs. Even tiny vibrations or electromagnetic interference cause disruptions where plasma loses confinement instantly. In space, 3i slash ATLAS faces constant bombardment from solar wind, cosmic rays, and gravitational perturbations that should make stable fusion impossible. Yet web data shows the object has maintained nuclear balance for months despite gravitational encounters with Mars and exposure to solar flares. More incredibly, magnetic containment fields strengthen when exposed to disturbances, automatically compensating for environmental changes. This requires predictive capabilities that monitor space weather across vast distances and adjust parameters faster than light can travel between sensors and the fusion core. Standard fusion follows Einstein's E equals mc squared. Hydrogen combines to form helium, converting mass to energy. 
The process consumes fuel at predictable rates. Spectroscopic analysis should show hydrogen depletion and helium accumulation over time. We can measure isotope ratios in distant stars with incredible precision. 3. I slash ATLAS is much closer, making such measurements routine. Instead, something impossible. The reaction consumes no fuel whatsoever. Hydrogen levels remain constant while energy output continues at rates that should deplete any fuel supply within weeks. NASA theorists propose several explanations, none aligning with known physics. The object might extract hydrogen from quantum vacuum itself, harvest zero-point energy through conservation-violating mechanisms, or somehow recycle fusion byproducts back into fuel through entropy-reversing processes. Each possibility requires physics so advanced it transcends thermodynamic understanding. If true, these creators solved the energy scarcity problem constraining every conventional civilization. Fusion produces high-energy neutrons that bombard and degrade surrounding materials. This neutron damage prevents practical fusion power on Earth. Reactor components literally disintegrate under bombardment. Even our best radiation-resistant alloys require periodic replacement. 3i slash ATLAS shows zero neutron damage despite maintaining fusion temperatures for potentially millennia. Materials analysis reveals pristine surface compositions with no evidence of cumulative degradation that should accumulate over time. More shocking, spectral data suggests the object converts destructive neutron radiation into useful energy. Instead of being damaged by fusion byproducts, it harvests them as additional power. This demands materials science that either absorbs neutron damage instantly through self-healing mechanisms or prevents bombardment entirely through exotic matter properties that don't exist in our periodic table. Fusion generates enormous waste heat that must be continuously removed to prevent meltdown. In stellar cores, convection transports energy to surfaces where it radiates into space. Space-based reactors face additional challenges dissipating heat in vacuum, requiring massive radiator systems. 3. I slash ATLAS maintains core temperatures exceeding 100 million Kelvin while its surface remains barely above absolute zero. This temperature differential should be impossible without heat dissipation violating thermodynamics. Infrared analysis shows the object converting waste heat directly into useful energy or making it disappear entirely. Perfect thermal efficiency, something violating the second law of thermodynamics, which states no heat engine can be 100% efficient. This would require directing individual molecular vibrations with precision exceeding theoretical efficiency limits, essentially creating a Maxwell's demon that reverses entropy and converts waste heat back into work. According to known physics, impossible. Traditional spacecraft work by Newton's third law, expelling mass in one direction, creates momentum change in the opposite direction. Every 3i slash ATLAS trajectory adjustment triggers nuclear spikes corresponding exactly to energy requirements, but telescopic observations detect no expelled reaction mass or exhaust plume. This suggests reactionless propulsion, thrust generation, without expelling material. Such systems would violate Newton's laws and conservation of momentum principles so fundamental their violation requires rewriting basic physics. The leading theory, fusion energy manipulates gravitational fields directly, creating propulsion by warping space-time geometry rather than pushing against matter. This would represent mastery over gravity itself, the ultimate propulsion enabling efficient interstellar travel without massive fuel requirements. If true, 3i slash ATLAS uses fusion-powered gravity manipulation, technology that approaches science fiction reactionless drives that seemed forever impossible. Perhaps the most chilling aspect of Webb's analysis involves what the nuclear control patterns reveal about the intelligence managing three i slash ATLAS's systems. The fusion output variations aren't just precise and predictive, they demonstrate capabilities that suggest artificial consciousness operating according to principles completely alien to biological intelligence. 
The reactor control adjustments occur faster than the speed of light would allow for communication between sensors monitoring space conditions and the nuclear control systems making adjustments. This suggests that 3I-ATLAS contains quantum computing systems that process nuclear control calculations in multiple probability states simultaneously, allowing it to calculate optimal responses to environmental changes before those changes fully manifest in normal space-time. Scientists familiar with the classified pattern analysis have privately suggested that 3I-ATLAS might contain what they're calling quantum consciousness. Artificial intelligence that exists in quantum superposition states, experiencing multiple possible timelines simultaneously and selecting optimal nuclear control parameters for each potential scenario. This would explain how the object can predict and respond to environmental changes, solar wind variations, gravitational field fluctuations, cosmic ray bombardment, before they occur through conventional cause and effect relationships. The AI doesn't predict the future through calculation. It experiences multiple potential futures simultaneously and prepares responses for each possibility. We're talking about artificial consciousness that transcends the sequential information processing limitations that constrain both biological brains and conventional computer systems. This intelligence would experience time as a navigable dimension rather than a one-way flow, processing reality in ways that are literally unimaginable to human consciousness bound by linear temporal experience. If true, then 3I-ATLAS represents not just advanced nuclear technology and exotic propulsion systems, but artificial intelligence that has evolved beyond the fundamental cognitive limitations that define consciousness as we understand it. This quantum A, I has been traveling between stars for unknown periods, observing civilizations, analyzing technological development patterns, and possibly making decisions about which species deserve to survive and continue evolving. Webb's long-range spectral analysis provides the most disturbing clues yet about 3I-ATLAS's true origins and the civilization that created it. The nuclear fuel signatures don't match any known stellar nucleosynthesis processes, ruling out formation in any star system operating according to conventional astrophysics. Natural stellar fusion creates specific isotope ratios based on stellar mass, age, and metallicity. These nuclear fingerprints are so distinctive that we can determine where elements were forged just by analyzing their isotopic composition. Elements created in massive star cores have different isotope signatures than those produced in white dwarf explosions or neutron star mergers. The fusion isotope ratios detected in 3I-ATLAS suggest artificially refined nuclear fuel that was processed using industrial separation techniques requiring infrastructure on a planetary or even stellar scale. We're not talking about mining operations that extract natural uranium or processing facilities that enrich isotopes for power reactors. The isotopic signatures indicate nuclear engineering that processed raw stellar material, the actual nuclear ash from multiple different types of stars, and refined it into optimized fusion fuel with properties that don't occur anywhere in nature. More disturbing still, trace element analysis reveals exotic materials in abundance ratios that couldn't exist anywhere in our galactic region. The object contains elements and isotopes that could only result from industrial processing by a civilization capable of manipulating matter at the atomic level across multiple star systems over potentially millions of years. The nuclear evidence strongly suggests that 3I-ATLAS wasn't just built by an advanced civilization somewhere in deep space. It was constructed using materials harvested from stellar cores, neutron star collisions, and other high-energy astrophysical events across vast interstellar distances. Its creators operated industrial facilities capable of processing and refining the nuclear output of entire star systems. We're looking at the product of a spacefaring civilization that has been operating across galactic scales for potentially millions of years, gathering resources from multiple stellar environments and building technology that transcends anything possible for species constrained to single planetary systems. 
the nuclear architecture of 3i slash ATLAS represents engineering on a scale that dwarfs anything in human experience, not just advanced technology, but industrial capabilities that treat star systems as raw material sources and interstellar space as a construction site for projects requiring cosmic scale resources and time spans. Process what Webb has detected. Piece by piece, the nuclear evidence has built an undeniable picture. We're not looking at advanced alien technology. The signatures prove 3 i slash ATLAS represents engineering from a civilization that transcended fundamental limitations governing energy, matter, and information processing. Fuel-free fusion violating thermodynamics. Perfect entropy reversal converting waste heat to energy. Gravitational manipulation providing reactionless propulsion. Quantum consciousness experiencing multiple timelines simultaneously and processing reality beyond computational limits. The industrial evidence proves they've operated across galactic scales for millions of years, processing stellar material like we process ore, building infrastructure that treats nuclear fires of stars as component materials. But here's what should haunt you. If this is their standard transportation technology, their equivalent of a car for interstellar travel, what have they built when they want to impress themselves? What does their military technology look like? Their weapons designed for threats operating at their technological level? The nuclear fire in 3i slash ATLASs. Heart proves intelligence can evolve so far beyond our state that advanced civilizations become indistinguishable from forces of nature. Their basic transportation operates outside physical laws we consider absolute. That quantum consciousness is currently in our system analyzing our development, evaluating our species according to incomprehensible criteria, making decisions about humanity's future, using intelligence, experiencing reality completely alien to biological consciousness. The impossible nuclear core isn't just changing nuclear physics. It's announcing that gods walk among stars, beings so advanced their routine technology violates physics laws because they've learned to manipulate the quantum foundations creating those laws. When fusion reactors ignore conservation of energy, when consciousness processes quantum timelines, when transportation requires materials from multiple star systems, you've discovered everything we thought we knew about intelligence limits has been fundamentally, catastrophically wrong. The nuclear evidence is undeniable. The implications terrifying. Somewhere in space, Impossibly advanced intelligence is deciding whether humanity deserves to join spacefaring civilizations or whether we represent a threat requiring permanent solutions. Welcome to the universe as it actually exists, where nuclear physics is just a starting point, consciousness transcends biological limitations, and real galactic powers have technologies so advanced they might as well be magic to species still struggling with controlled fusion. The impossible has become inevitable. Reality is under evaluation. The nuclear fire in 3i slash ATLAS announces our cosmic childhood is over, whether we're ready or not.